Welcome back to my channel and a little rant on EG4. Here's some Life Power 4 batteries. And I bought two of these and two of another model of this. And here's the problem. BMS failures. When this back, I bought this at the auction at uh, Battery Hookup. I probably paid $570 each with shipping and everything when I won the auctions on average. I bought four of them. Two of these and two of the other ones I'll show you in a moment. And I've had to top balance. This thing came in at 14 volts. So averaging a little over one volt per cell and thank goodness I was able to recover them and I'm top balancing them and I'm on my last cell right here. I use Z-Tech which has been incredibly good for all the top balancing I've had to do over the years. Uh, thoroughly enjoy my Z-Tech. They're very accurate. I top balance them to 3.45 volts and I bring them down to 2 amps. And these have been averaging probably 102 amp hours as I top balance them. I'm working on my very last cell. And then this one will be complete. Now, I've had to jump start some of these batteries and I use this. And here is the question I have for you. Other than the rant I have on EG4, but I bought these from Battery Hookup, which I thoroughly love that company. I'm grateful for, because most of my batteries have been uh, bought through them. But I also, they had a good deal on these, and I thought, oh, I could braze, uh, not braze them, but um, TIG weld them. But I'm hoping that somebody will have a good idea how to mount bus bars on these. If they've bought any of these from Battery Hookup in the past, I'm sure they don't sell them anymore. Uh, how have you done your bus bars? I was thinking I'm going to build a special thing to protect these so I can TIG weld them or MIG weld them because I have aluminum. I have both and so far I have not. I tried uh, soldering them. Not successfully though. They just won't take solder. But I'm curious what uh, anybody had any experience with these. But going back to my rant. Can you believe, you, I think these things sell for about $1,100, $1,200 from uh, Signature Solar and other people that sell EG4 batteries. They have no freaking warranty if you buy it secondhand. No warranty. And they all have failure BMSs. I can trust this, this, and this. But I would not trust any of this stuff here. And anyway, I'm not set up to... Uh, uh, run communication to my inverters even though I have uh, the equivalent of LV 6548s but anyway because I have some gold power I would say this has got to be the worst second worst the worst investment I ever made on lithium iron phosphate batteries from AliExpress they claim to have 280 amp hour 302 amp hour none of them have come even close to the amp hour rating but this is my second worst purchase even though I'm going to be in these things uh, about $570 and I've got to add a BMS to it because I don't I would not trust any BMS that you get from this company EG4 no way I would not trust their BMS's Ali I mean uh, battery hookup has had dozens of these things on the auction block and why it's because but the failure of the, their BMS and their electronic system. Anyway, I'll show you the other two. Here are the other two batteries I had. I've had to top balance these. The BMS failed on all these batteries, these two batteries here. And I'm sure all the ones they had in the auction block, they had the same problem. Which I'm, I want to use this. I want to use the, the breaker. I have no desire to use any of this because I don't trust their electronics. I'm going to be using my old standby, which I've had incredibly good luck with. JK BMSs are probably a little bit better than this, but they're twice the expense as uh, DALI. I've had incredibly good luck with the smart 
Dally BMSs. They keep my uh, batteries within five milliamps of each other. What, what more can you ask for? Sometimes it's one or two milliamps. Incredible uh, balancing, even though it's very, very, you know, like half of a <laughs> amp battery. But over, to, over time, they just keep very good balance of my battery. So I'm quite happy with these. these this one runs about $57. If you buy these things, secondary market, forget any warranty problems. You're not going to get any warranty on these things. I asked Signature Solar, no. Even though they might have a 5 or 10 year warranty, I have no idea. I'd never buy these batteries. As I say, this is the second worst decision that I've made on buying batteries. Right now, uh, Battery Hookup, they have new cells, Cal B, I think they're, or cattle, uh, they might be cattle. They have, for $99 a kilowatt hour, check Battery Hookup out. If you're going to get these, <laughs> go to Battery Hookup. You're going to get far more amp hours for the price than you would by buying something like this. Because you're going to have BMS failures, most likely, during your time that you have these. Worst investment, other than AliExpress, would suck. Battery Hookup, check them out. Great company. Never had a problem with them. Thanks very much. Talk to you later.